Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this tonight's meeting of Infrastructure Safety and Growth Scrutiny Committee. Um, just to remind everyone that the meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to YouTube. We have received apologies from Councillor Ben Price and Councillor Jeremy Oates. Are there any other apologies? No? Thank you. Right, item two then, minutes of the previous meeting. Has everybody had sight of the previous meeting and is there anyone happy to move that? And a seconder? Lots of names and everyone in favour? Yeah, thank you. Um, item three, declarations of interest. Yeah, Councillor. Uh, it's neither personal or prejudicial, but just because of my previous responsibilities, I'll remove myself from uh, item seven. So it's just a choice. Thank you. Um, item four, updates from the chair. Uh, the, the one thing I would tell people is I have had a meeting with our officers and we've looked at the, the work plan and we've put some extra little bits in. <laughs> so we're quite happy to keep us all busy. Um, but we will be um, carrying on with that and we're looking at the work plans and I would like us to get some dates in the diary for the people who are on the work groups. If we can do that at the end of the meeting, that would be useful. So apart from that, that was everything from me. Um, item five, responses to the reports, of the infrastructure safety and growth scrutiny committee, and there are none at this stage. Item six, consideration of minutes referred to us from cabinet and council. There are none also at this stage. So we go on to the main event, item seven, museum accreditation. And if I can ask Anna and Laura to, to go through that with us, please. Thank you. Yes, so we are presenting um, a range of um, new policies and updated policies um, in support of the museum accreditation application. So currently Tamworth Castle Museum is an accredited museum by the Arts Council um, and we're invited to be re-accredited this year. Um, we've actually got a submission date of September this year. We need to support our application. Um, the policy, the process as it is requires us to update our policies. So we have got a number of policies here that have been updated. Probably most notably the, the uh, Museum Forward Plan, which is the first document. Um, we have, although broadly covered the same purpose and aims, we have focused the action plan that supports it to, um, to actually directly link to corporate priorities. Um, and we've also produced a brand new policy, which is the access policy. So you won't have seen that one before. The others are reviews. So the collections development policy um, and the um, emergency plan, they're both um, just updates of a, previous, of a previous policy. So I'll take any questions, if there are any. All right. Um, thank you. I was just wondering if um, part of the forward plan, I've, I've gone, gone through most of it, um, whether we'll be like liaising with like some of the heritage groups and the historic groups in Tamworth as well. Yeah, so I would, I think I've actually covered that under partnership working. So um, point one of the, of the action plan is to work in partnership to actively engage our communities. So that's, um, I think I've actually yeah, I have actually detailed local history and heritage groups under that. And then just a second point as well. Um, with the, uh, so the accreditation allows us to apply for various grants and that. We will be seizing like, all of the opportunities that are available to us for extra funding. Yeah, thank you. Um, accreditation is absolutely key to us being eligible for some of our grant funds. So we have previously applied on the basis of, of being an accredited museum. We are, we've just recently submitted an application for um, MEND, um, which is um, a repairs grant um, process with the Arts Council and that is specifically for accredited museums um, we've had some recommendations come back from Historic England with regards to that because obviously it relates primarily to the building um, but it's a big grant fund and you're right to highlight the importance of being accredited to access those those funds. Councillor Claymore. Thank you, Chair. I just wanted to say thank you for such an in-depth 
report. Um, I have a special special interest in the castle. Um, and I really don't have any questions. I just wanted to congratulate everybody on putting all these reports and reviews together because I do think they're very comprehensive and hence the reason probably why we don't have any questions. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think I would um, reiterate that it's it's a very comprehensive report. <laughs> it's, you know, a lot of reading, but yes. you have covered everything. We're really grateful for that. And Councillor Clark and I were lucky enough to go on the tour yeah, up the council, uh, up the castle, and that was she phenomenal. Was yeah, <laughs> absolutely phenomenal. And we were so impressed with the people that we've got working there, their, their knowledge and their passion for it was absolutely brilliant because you know that construction could just be seen as a day job but for the people who were working there they they, you, they told you about the different types of bricks the different mm. type of grout they were so passionate about it that we know that at the end of that we will end up with a really good job so thank you for all the work that you've done in that and for finding those people yeah, to do thank it thank you thanks questions from anybody Yes, if you want to get thank off now, you. but thank Thanks. you again so much for thank all the work you. that you've done on this. <clears throat> so, item eight then is the forward plan, and we're we're going to look to review it. What what bits will we be looking at with well, this, Leanne? Okay, the, there is. I think there's probably been about three items sort of put on right. there, so, so not the um, not your work plan, yeah. plan. It's, it's the actual forward plan. Just right. Oh, right, yes, the forward plan that came out. Sort of yes. Like I say, yeah. a lot of these are going to, to full council anyway, so I'm going to take them board, but just see so if that's... anyone else has got anything on the forward plan that they want. Yeah, they are there any do. items on the forward plan that anybody wants to bring forward to us, to ISAC? No. no. Right, thank you for that then. So the scrutiny committee work plan, or working group updates. Oh, this was the bit we were going to talk about, wasn't it? So we have our two um, groups, the review, review of policy um, engagement relating to the migrant travelling communities. And we've got myself, Councillor Claymar and Councillor Woods down for that. I wonder, um, I've just been speaking to Leanne about whether we sh because being new i'll play the new girl again um whether we shut down completely for august or whether we would be able to perhaps get um this move in in august and um, so my other two members of that would you be happy to have a meeting going to the diary in august yes yes chair um, yeah I yeah. could do august um probably the end of august would suit me better but i'm just wondering whether um what the aims of it are now, because I know that the policy in council is now being formulated. So, yeah. um, and so what what would be the the aim of the the working group? Sorry. I think it, it it's about us making sure that it works really, because some of us are new to this and think we need to revisit it and make sure that it is working because it does some stuff doesn't seem to be working, especially at the moment for Councillor Clement. So. I'm quite keen to look at it and make sure we're doing all that we should be doing under um, government guidance. And, uh, yeah, just make sure that we are on the ball with it and we're not missing something that might stop all this happening. 
So if, if everyone's happy to, to carry on with that, if we, I mean, it might only take one meeting and we'll, we'll know exactly where we are with it and what we need to bring forward. Um, just, just some, I, I did catch up with Jo Sands today and she did say she was happy because obviously yourself and, and Councillor Wood um, and no, obviously a, no councillor came on with the update, but she mm. is happy to sort of have a meet so that oh, right. wanted to... Yeah, know, if, if we make that out... Yeah, so that would be I, brilliant. I was just saying, um, I was I speak to, to Joe Sands today. Obviously, Councillor Wood and Councillor Dean wouldn't have been at the update and things that we had. So she did say she was happy to sort of come along and, you know, and, and update as well, sort of, with what, what's in place at the moment. For, for you so if we, if we use that as our first working group meeting, and then we'll, we'll know exactly where we are. So the, the other working group that we'd got was facilities for H, HGV drivers in Tamworth. And that was um, Councillor Price, Councillor Clements, and Councillor Daniels. Um, did you want to take a lead on this, Tina? Chair, I think um, obviously uh, Ben brought this up um, a while ago now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll speak to Ben because obviously it was him that raised it, and I think um, we need to make sure what he wants to do. My issue is that, you know, there isn't enough spaces for hgv drivers to park up and and do whatever they've they they do sleep overnight um and then i see the other side of it from a litter picking point of uh, point of view what we pick up um and then i see um that actually there is space but they don't want to pay the money that they've got to pay to get onto the car park so um, i think there's a number of angles we can attack it from um, and obviously we there is a hgv drivers forum as well that we can we can look into and i can probably get that detail from a county level um, in my other role. So um, I don't know whether you want to speak to Ben as the chair and see what he wants to do or you want me to ask him. Um, I'm quite happy for you as a member of that group to talk to him and, and see if he wants to bring something forward sooner rather than later. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. <clears throat> so we go on to our item 10, our ISAG scrutiny committee work plan which we have updated um, I was very keen like councillor Clements that we didn't push the EV charging thing into the long grass and it I mean November to me still seems a long way away but I was being told that stuff couldn't be ready be any time before that so we have got that on there um, chair can I ask why because, you know, as a, as a scrutiny, we should be pushing for that to come forward sooner rather than later. That, I yeah. hate to say it, but we should be telling the officers when we want stuff to come here. If, I suppose my, my problem with that was, in my conversation, if I wasn't going to get what I needed any earlier, then there didn't seem much point. But I'm quite happy to go back and say we as a committee would like it. Because um, November... If we go back into the cycle of starting again in September, that's two meetings down the road, isn't it? So I'll see if I can move that. Can you? Yeah, are you yeah, able to make a note? Yeah, and I'll, yeah. I'll ask if that can change. Is there anything anybody else would like to see on the work plan that we haven't already got? Councillor Clark. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'm still not quite happy with the council house repairs policy being um, TBC. Uh, TBC. Um, if we could have... I say it doesn't have to be immediate because I know having that, that um, meeting in September where all the data is being presented. But if we could run that um, that agenda item alongside the meeting that we're having on that, I think it'd be a good time to have it. And you know, the sooner we can analyse the policy, the, the faster we can decide what action to take. I think we're we're conscious that some of the other scrutiny committees are doing pieces of work on this. So this might be something the chairs are going to meet. And I think this is something we need to be trying to work out about where where it comes as a whole or if those different elements do need further scrutinisation in individual um, meetings. But it is does seem to be looming large, so it is something that needs proper scrutinisation. And if it needs to be broken down into the three scrutiny committees, I'm quite happy for that to, to happen. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end. I can't believe this. It brings us to the end of the meeting. Is there anything else from you, Leanne? No, no. 
That's amazing. Thank you all for your attendance. And um, it looks like we don't meet again until September. Yeah. So thank you very much. But we will try and get those um, working groups up and running so that we've at least got something to come back with. And if we can have that conversation about the housing thing as well, we'll have that to come back with in September as well. Thank you.